Coming up on Sports Weekly, we've got a lot of high school soccer action, including a big one in the Citrus Belt League as Cajon took on Redlands. Highlights of that one, plus highlights of Arroyo Valley and San Gorgonio going head-to-head -head in San Andreas League play. San G off to another incredible start, but it's always tough to win on the road against the Hawks. Highlights of that one. We'll also hear from head coach Adrian Villalobos after the team recently received their CIF and SoCal Regional Championship rings during a cer ceremony at San G. We will also have an interview with... Cajon softball star Jada Viegas recently signed with BYU. All that and more coming up on this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG, and it starts right now. And how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I'm your host, Pep Fernandez. We appreciate you tuning in. We have a lot of high school soccer highlights and interviews coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. Now we start with a big one in the San Andreas League. San Gorgonio going on the road to a very tough Arroyo Valley squad. You'll remember San G last season. It was a championship year. They got a bunch of guys back and they are loaded with talent again. Let's take it out to Arroyo Valley. San G going up against the Hawks. It was tied at one at halftime and uh, San G trying to take the lead. How about some great ball movement by San Gorgonio here. Nice cut inside by Damian Guzman. The left-footed strike finds the side of the net getting past the goalkeeper and giving San Gorgonio the 2-1 to lead. The go-ahead goal for San G. The Spartans back on the attack in the second half, taking it inside into the box. And we've got a foul just outside of the box. In fact, it was a red card. So Royal Valley would be a man down for the rest of the second half. San G would capitalize back on the attack. There's your boy, Elvin Lopez. Slides that one in his second goal of the match. And that gives San Gorgonio a 3-1 lead at that point. San G would tack on one more goal just for fun as they win 4-1 on the road at Arroyo Valley. Big win for uh, San G to uh, stay in the hunt for a San Andreas League championship. But you know with this team, they got big, big goals at the end of the year, including a couple more titles. Uh, here's a couple of the guys after that big win against Arroyo Valley. Well, uh, we, at halftime, our, our team was told to pressure and give a little bit more effort. So that's what we did, and it came out to something spectacular. We just got to keep playing hard and keep going the way we're doing. And I feel like we have another shot at it. We're doing pretty good so far. We're getting, we're improving day by day, and we'll see how far it takes us. Yeah, I feel like we're just this is how it is. You know, last year we had our ups and downs. We had a loss. We were on a 14-game winning streak. We had a loss. That just, I feel like that like just motivated us to like do better throughout the, the ending of the season. First league, we have to worry about league first. Going into the league tournament, we have a league tournament, and then CIF obviously and state. That's our main goal, to be honest. It's a dream, you know, going with winning two rings. Just imagining having two rings on your finger during a senior year. San Gorgonio also recently had a ceremony on campus for the championship team from last season to receive their rings, not only for the CIF Southern Section title, but also the CIF SoCal Regional Championship. There's head coach Adrian Villalobos with his beautiful family. We had a chance to talk to him about the season so far and trying to do it all over again. Can they win CIF again? Here's coach Villalobos. All right, you're here with San Gorgonio head coach Adrian Villalobos. A 4-1 result against the Hawks today. Coach, Arroyo Valley played hard, but I feel like everyone wants to beat San G this season. Do you feel like every team that you go up against, they're bringing their A game? Everyone wants to knock off San G because you guys are coming off a championship season. Uh, yes, we've actually been talking about that all season. And today, I told the boys before the game, you know what? I'm, I'm tired talking about that. <laughs> like, we you know we have a big target in our back. We earned it. So now let's go out and prove, you know, why, why everybody wants us. 
today, um, when I got here, it was 1-1 at halftime, three goals in the second half. What was kind of clicking? What was the message at halftime, but what was kind of clicking in the second half for you guys? Um, we we did a better job uh, with their high press mm -hmm. in, the second, in the second half. We adjusted a little bit because we knew they were, you know, pressing, high pressing, and just on, on us the whole time. And we just needed to connect a little bit more. And we knew as soon as we could start doing that, it was going to open up a little bit. So, you know, it, it, we knew that one more goal would, would do it, you know. You kind of open up the floodgates, right? You got yes. one, two, three in the second half to, yeah. to win 4-1. Coach, you know, I know there's a lot of returning players with some new faces out there as well. So with this year's team, what are kind of the goals or the expectations for you? I know you're in bigger division for playoffs too. Yeah. Yes. Um, I mean, we still have high high goals and high, high expectations. Um, some of the things that are different, like I just, I just talked to some of the – boys after the game we had three fre we have three freshmen on the on, on varsity and all three played them to two to start so um you know we 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 have high expectations and yeah there's there's a lot of returners but there's awesome good players coming up that are helping us out and you guys are off to a strong season but do you feel like the the best is still to come like you guys are still improving and hopefully you'll be peaking by and by the time the playoffs roll around yeah, I think so. I think so. We just had a, a lot of ties, and it, it feels like, you know, we've lost some of those games, even though they're ties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, we're, we're we, we still not peaked yet, and, you know, we're still banged up a little bit. We got guys that are not, uh, not 100 percent. We had uh, uh, two guys not here today because they're, they're injured. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're, 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 we're working. All right, that's San Gorgonio head coach Adrian Villalobos. All right, that was Coach Villalobos uh, after that big win. Now let's pivot from soccer to some water polo action. The Cajon Girls water polo team is off to a strong start this year. They finished runner-up at the San Gorgonio tournament, and they're in the hunt for a Citrus Belt League title. In fact, this past week, they beat Redlands East Valley 16-5, and a big week coming up for the Cowgirls as they will take on Redlands and Citrus Valley at home. Two big games in the race for the CBL title. And uh, speaking of, Citrus Valley and Redlands going head-to-head, -head, and uh, Redlands had a big lead in the third quarter. Citrus Valley battling back to make things close and interesting. But Redlands would get some goals late in the match to hold off the Blackhawks. Sophia Shumway coming up with a goal here for the Terriers as Redlands won by a score of 11-9. So now Redlands and Citrus Valley will try their luck on the road at Cajon this upcoming week in some big-time CBL contests. All right, we come back here on Sports Weekly. Speaking of Cajon, boys soccer highlights next here on Sports Weekly on IEMG.